Uh, last game last is game uh, up, Saboteur. Saboteur. So you didn't get a chance to play this because you were in fucking Hawaii. I, dude, I was playing. I was How playing dare my game. You? I was working on Noob Two. I was right. playing. I was play, playing Picross 3D, which I'll be mentioning All next right. year. And I was playing a hell of a lot of my Magic, dude. Okay. All right. So I was doing I work. Forgive you then. On the beach, you son of a. With bitch. my toes in the water. I was in the 31 degree weather of California. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. California is the middle of a fucking like. It's ice snowing age. in California. Yeah. Some parts of California. I am gonna go outside with some CF. And fix this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn, 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 some, burn some polyester. That's right. I'm um, burn some hippies. That's right. So, uh, so the saboteur is um, uh, a, a very interesting game. So, what is it? It's, a, it's a, it seems to from what my guess of it is like an open worldy type game. Yes. Okay. It is uh, assassins. Creed Infamous plus uh, GTA, it's plus Nazis <laughs> plus, plus yeah okay. yeah. So it's, it, it, hmm. it is it is a genre mix. You know, okay, like they they sure. took uh, uh, they took all of these elements like the stealth and building climbing of Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. They took the open world and quest aspects of GTA. Okay, and they put it in World War Two because those games obviously sell. So. Yeah, sure. exactly. I mean, it's like these are formulas that we know work. Uh, it looks very pretty. Okay. It's actually very, very nice looking. And, and the one element that I thought was really, really, really cool mm-hmm. uh, that was the only bit of innovation in this entire game is that the game is black and white with tiny little hints of color. So the whole thing is black and white. Kind of like Schindler's List or something. Kind of like Schindler's okay. List, exactly. Except what happens is as you work with the uh, underground and free areas from Nazi oh, influence, color comes back. Oh, nice. So that it's is kind of like actually, Okami, kind of like, yeah. yeah. So that it's is actually... Kind of innovative. Yeah, kind of sorry. innovative. It's like, what was that one movie that um, was like everything was black and white and then oh, people had sex? It went to color. Shit, what was, was it? It was uh, something, something Wood. Somethingville. Yeah. Pleasantville. Yeah, something like that. Pleasantville. I think it was, it was Pleasantville. Yeah, with... Uh, yeah, what's his face? I don't care. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, but it was, Spider-Man, <laughs> come on! Jake Gyllenhaal. No. <laughs> He's the Prince of Persia. Tobey Maguire. Yes. Um... So yeah, the because yeah, the Prince of Persia is a white dude. Sure, why not? Of course, with a British accent. Why not? Because that makes him more like an Arab to white people, I guess. Hey, the British were in Arabia for quite some time. That's true. That's Very true. true. So the saboteur. <laughs> so, so so all that good stuff. I mean, it sounds like a great game. Maybe I should get it. Uh, I mean, it's 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 basically halfway interesting the whole way through. Like there's the there's parts uh, that are fun. You know, because yeah. you're, like, driving around a bunch of old cars, like, killing the Nazis is kind of fun. Sure. The quests are kind of fun. The the battle's done okay. Yeah. Uh, there's two... Is it gun-shooting battle, mostly? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's, well, there's like, sneak up behind somebody and crack their neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's fist fighting, and then there's, like, gun gun battle. Okay, so sure. it's cool. Kind of like kind all those of other like games. Those other you know? games. So, yeah. So the the big thing that bothers me is there's a lot of climbing in the game, mm-hmm. and if you're going to rip off Assassin's Creed rip off Assassin's Creed. Like, they do climbing so fucking well, you know, where it's just like, it feels good, you can Mm -hmm. free run, like, it feels like the city is alive and you're sneaking and doing whatever. This one, (coughs) I shit you not, every... So so say you're in a building and there's like 15 ledges between you and the top and you're going to climb up each of those ledges. Each ledge is pressing A. Are you So you hit A and he like jumps to the next ledge. Really? So you basically, every building you're climbing, you're like... hitting the A button and he goes... How did uh, did uh, Infamous uh, do it? uh, Do you remember? I don't remember, actually. Hmm. I feel like well, in Judge Hearted, to be fair, you do have to jump a lot and hit. You do, but it's actually like figuring out the next part where it's you know a lot of times it'll be. It's 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 more strategic. It's not literally every building. Is it just the same for the most part too? It's it's just like imagine. It's seriously just imagine Assassin's Creed. Remember every building to climb up, you'd climb, climb, climb. Like imagine there's like ten handholds. Each one of those is just. Like you rarely, because like sometimes you do have to jump, right? Yeah. There's a couple of places we have to do, but it's but mostly rare. you hold down the "I would like to run up this building" button, <laughs> yeah. and it works. It's yeah. it's really cool. But I mean, this one oh, is just too bad. Maybe it's, it's really hard to do coding wise. I mean, that's I, one of the things. Right? It must be. I mean, like, mm. but they didn't do a very good job of stealing from you know, like that. That was the one thing that I thought was kind of weak. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing is that you're supposed to do a lot of sneaking. Mm-hmm. And they didn't make it feel very good. Like, they didn't make it easy to tell. Like, there's no vision cones for Nazis. Oh, there's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what'll happen is you're on this elaborate mission where, like, you have to free four dudes from prison, yeah. for example. And you go up and you're like, all right, unlock this door and go over here and unlock this door. And there's fucking Nazis walking around everywhere. Yeah. But they've got this little circle around them that's like, if you walk in the circle, they'll become suspicious. But if you're freeing dudes from prison, they see you do it, they could be all the way across the courtyard if they have line of sight on you. Oh. The alarms go off, they gun down everybody, and it's just like, 
Huh. It, it, it feels like there's more luck than skill because basically yeah. you don't know when a hundred wandering random Nazis are going to yeah. come in the line of sight of you. Because you can't see them via camera. Yeah, and all I mean, stuff. you know, ah. you can't see who's behind you. You can't see yeah. if who's in a guard tower, which way they're facing. So, I mean, other games that have done Actually, stealth yeah. do the vision cones. Well, they'll do, like, I know uh, Arkham, Batman Arkham Asylum, like, whenever you have, you're near a sniper, mm-hmm. they will actually see the laser sight, yes. right? And you yes. would actually immediately know when you're going to be killed. Exactly. So, so if you're going to make it that big an you, element... You could steal from so many games. Exactly. Other people have figured this ah. shit out. It's not like, wow, we are forging into unknown territory <laughs> with these game mechanics. It's like, you're already stealing everything. Like, it's all the open world stuff. Seriously, I shit you not, you can get in the cars and change the radio stations like... like so they stole that. Yeah, I mean, okay. it feels like when you're driving the cars, there's jumps that you can get points on. I mean, like, it's, it's fucking GTA 4. <laughs> Exactly. So why not steal uh, all the other good stuff? So I feel so. bad because the thing is, I wanted like this nice, like you know, like a swan song to yeah. hear from Pandemic when they got fired a weeks before. Like, uh, oh, week before they got, that this yeah. was like this amazing game that you right. know came out, impressed everybody. So they shouldn't have fired them. Yeah. It's so. I mean, th- that's the thing. Is it? It's overall, it is an okay game. It is like I would go rent this. Right. But, but you can't be okay at this time of year. No, I mean, can't. right? Like there's no one's uh, Modern Warfare, Assassin's Creed. There's right. all these amazing games. And they're you can't all better. Be okay. And they're all better. Because this is just like this is just a mediocre. Uh, ah. If there were no other sandboxy games right now, yeah. I'd say okay, give it a shot. <laughs> but if you like, if you maybe you know, I mean, like Assassin's Creed Two just blows the shit out of this game. Or Infamous. Infamous. Maybe yeah. even Prototype. I mean, we didn't like that one, but no. But <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean. So yeah, there are billions of, right. of these open world games. So, but oh, I mean, I feel a little sad. bit bad because the voice acting is very nice. The game is very beautiful. It's very well designed, nice and big. Uh, st- stylistically, it's gorgeous. I mean, like you know, they, it's it's it is a decent game. It's so, a decent game. It's a rental. Hopefully, the art department will find you know good good yeah. good places to land. Yeah. So, but the, 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 the weaknesses are too glaring for me to say it's a great game. Okay, um, so rent. So rent. Yeah, give it a, give it a rent. Okay. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Wow. So that's.